Hi Taurus, this is gonna be your art channeled message. I channel messages through art, creativity. I really hope my messages inspire you to see the art within yourself, within your journey, and within everything around you because everything is art, everything is artistic, and we all start from zero, which is a blank canvas. It's just the full journey, pretty much. If you'd like a personal reading or if you would like to contact me, all of that is down below. And lastly, there's no rules here, so if this fine suit's definitely meant for you, you can binge watch them, uh, watch if it's recommended, watch it in any way that it comes to you, especially the advice portion or the subliminal portion, because there's the overall art, the overall message, and then there's the underlying message. It's like, what do you see? Especially as I describe it. There's a reason I do that, at least for these. When I started drawing for you, were these things in a geometric way. That happens to me a lot. The first thing I got was what looks like a street light shining overhead. And it's within this temple-like triangle. I'm getting a shower head as well with water sprinkling out. I'm picturing how both operate. Water from the shower goes in one spot. And street lights if we're talking about one of them, typically only cover a small portion of the street or ground. I keep getting all in one spot. You can only get it there nowhere else. It will only cover a small portion. I'm hearing the spotlight effect as well. That saying usually alludes to one thinking everyone's paying close attention to them, but they're not. After all, how would they, how would they do that if it's only in that spot? Are they over there with you? Are they looking super closely at you? It's just like thinking someone's there or thinking someone's paying attention, but they're not. I'm getting an even weirder thing here about the, I said witter, weirder thing here about getting the feeling you're being watched. Even in, in, even in intimate and in private situations and spots like in the shower where it's very unlikely, so it's like, Paranoia? <laughs> Isn't there a phenomenon behind that? You get a feeling of being watched. The feeling of being watched even in closed private spaces. It's very strange. It reminds me of movies where their character gets that same feeling in horror. <laughs> like they're in the shower and they're like, hold up. What? It's like that song, it always feels like somebody's watching me. There's literally even a lyric where he's like, when I'm in the shower, it feels like someone's standing there. This is so funny how once again, something weird and random I channeled that I'm really kind of, it's like, this is not going to be a message. It usually is. I'm also getting, what if this feeling is designed to keep you in check? not an actual person but more of a force spirits maybe like how can there be no windows no openings and people still get those feelings it's like out of nowhere something is triggering you something is rubbing you the wrong way but what could it possibly be i'm also getting something about illusions in the brain what you're thinking is all just an illusion by your brain. And I kind of wanted to feel drawn to compare it to mental health. How our brains can convince us too of of like be to believe horrible things about ourselves. You know like that voice in your head that tells you you're not good enough, tells you all these different things. It's like how can you prove that? Just like there's no one there, you get the feeling of being watched. Or you get the feeling that you're this, you're unworthy. Where does that even come from? How can you prove that? <laughs> it's literally just this fleeting feeling that comes and goes. Or this fleeting force that comes and goes. We're also animals too in a way. It's an intuition. It's like we always have to assume something's going to go down if we need to def defend ourselves. So there's that, the feeling of being watched. And I really like how I compared it to 
once again, mental health. Those overwhelming, overwhelming switches in feelings. I also feel drawn to say if you feel like someone's paying close attention to you, it's probably not that. But I'm also getting this weird supernatural type thing. It's like there's a reason for this. Whoa. That fell out. Ten of Pentacles. As soon as I saw this, I wanted to say the, the ten senses. But which is weird considering there's only five senses. Your taste, your hearing, your sight. Probably not saying them all, but there's definitely five. <laughs> so it's like the ten senses. It's like you have it's like you have heightened senses or heightened abilities. I'm seeing the eight of wands now as like just things that come out of nowhere. Things that like I literally said fleeting. That's how I compare it to the eight of wands. It's very fleeting type of thing it's like a whoosh it's like a wind I many people call this communication but it's like so many things if you use your intuition so that's what I'm getting this fleeting feeling a heightened sense it's like you might be experiencing especially moving forward just a very heightened intuition sensitivity even your taste will feel like it's at its all utmost high Things taste better, you can see things better. It's gonna be very, very weird. It's like I wasn't feeling like this before. When I'm in the shower, and it's like you get that feeling you're being watched. Why? There's obviously no logical explanation because no one's there. When those bad thoughts come in out of nowhere, it's like how? What do you? How can you prove this? It's not like someone's right there to you can ask them maybe they are but you get it we have temperance I'm seeing this as two senses mixing together like height height eyesight mixed with hearing or taste mixed with eyesight seeing I'm seeing the eight of swords too as just being frozen trapped in your own mind trapped in your own illusions it's like everything's so heightened that it's just overbearing and I'm also getting that paranoid thing again like all all in one spot, like a street light, like a shower head, just right here. S screams insecure as well. It's like, oh my god, everyone's looking at me, everyone's judging me. How can they judge you if they're not even there? Same, the same way we keep ourselves up, even when we're not going out, like why do we do that? Who are we looking, who are we looking, seeing, good for? And I don't mean this in a way, it's like you're not as important as you think you are in a bad way. It's more like you're, there's literally so many people, so many people that are busy with their lives. Trust me, what, what you're doing is not bad. Or who you are is not bad. I'm not being judged. The high priestess, there it is. The intuition, but with all of your 10 senses, like I said very weird it's like doubled 10 the 10 versus the 5 means amplified like times 2 everything's going to be amplified in your life when it comes to like how you see how you hear how you taste everything because intuition comes in everything the smallest things and I feel like it's going to be all together in a way And we have the Eight of Wands again. Why? 
the hermit. The, yeah, you're all alone. The street light. But somehow you still get the sense that something's coming or something's there. I'm getting this feeling too of just being studied. That spotlight effect. Usually, that's usually something people get where it's like they walk into a public place and oh my god, everyone's staring at me, everyone's judging me. I mean, even seeing something with the Eight of Swords, just don't look then. Pretend like you don't... <laughs> pretend like you don't see anything. It's like someone that's trying to ignore their intuition. Like if you walk into a public place and you get that insecure feeling like, oh my god, all eyes on me, don't look at anybody. <laughs> Just go in, focus on what you're there for, and then leave. No one's looking at you, no one's looking into your uh, soul. Noticing all your insecurities. It's like we're hyper aware of ourselves more than other people are. This is a very strange thing to bring up in a reading, but I'm literally getting that feeling. And I'm saying it's not even your fault that this these paranoid type of feelings are coming up. It's just because all five of your senses are like ten. They're amplified. Everything feels much stranger. I'm even seeing the hermit is just like you can see things much closer. I'm even seeing this as actual like eyesight. <laughs> your eyesight you might noticing you're not like struggling as much to see things. Maybe in a literal way as well. I mean like figuratively. Third eye. Page of Wands. But something amazing will come from this. It's like not only are you gonna be impressed with how gifted you are, how uh, aware of your surroundings you are, but you're also going to realize, like, wow, we're all not as significant as we think we are. Let that sink in. And it doesn't mean you're not important, you can't make an impact, but it's just you're not significant in a way where people, people want to make fun of you, people want to just look at you all day. It's like, why do we get those feelings even when we're alone? Because they're so implemented into us. Just like, even wanting to look good, wear makeup when we're alone, no one's around. Why? When we get a bad thought out of nowhere that we're useless and horrible, why? We were just chilling a second ago. It's like these feel fleeting feelings like the Eight of Wands. So if you notice a lot of this going on, that's why. Even seeing this as the unseen... These unseen forces, these these unseen, like, f fleeting energies. It's like, why? It's the unknown. Why do we do this? Why do we act like that? I'm also seeing something about, like, spirits. I'm seeing this as like, ghost hunting for some reason. Doing things to get a reaction. Or, like, to see what happens. With the occult. And I feel like you're gonna be very impressed with what you find. You're gonna it's like you're gonna find out what's making you have these thoughts. They've been getting this really nice, beautiful energy. It's like wow, I'm actually not alone. My angels are with me. Or this past loved one is with me. It's like something very comforting. This is a very strange reading. We have freedom. I'm getting that fleeting feeling again. This is the complete opposite of the Eight of Swords. To me, this screams, I don't care what people think of me. No longer paranoid. No longer thinking things twice. I notice too how it's like this bird is kind of the main character and obviously there's birds in the background. It's people watching. 
or there's a crowd, but the bird doesn't care. The bird's being a bird. Act like that. It's not like he's looking behind him. He has to focus or he wouldn't fly as good as he does. I don't know why I'm saying he. Maybe there's a lot of males watching this. But, yeah. Okay, Taurus, that's the end of this art channeled message. Please like, subscribe, support the channel in any way you can. I'd really, really, really appreciate it. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. There's forces in a sense that it could be a spirit. There's forces in a sense that where it could be thoughts out of nowhere. Like, why am I thinking such so negatively or extremely positively? There's the forces where it's like unknown, feels like someone's there, but it's not. It's all the same thing. Paranoia can mean like just intuition. I sense things. I see things more than others. But it could also be, it's like we're just not that important to worry about all this stuff. Who cares? Look ahead, don't look behind. I feel like there's also great things ahead for you, not to mention. Okay, guys. Bye.